teams. When you hear that word, you know that it's got to do something about teamwork and collaboration. Now in Salesforce, you can leverage teams to open up record access for certain objects like accounts, opportunities, and cases. This will allow you to open collaboration and facilitate teamwork in terms of record sharing. Now, how does teams fit into record sharing? We know that access to a record is defined by the owner of the record, and then the admin set the baseline access in the organization wide defaults open up access using role hierarchy and sharing rules. Now, all of these are managed by admins. And this is where a flexibility to open up this access comes, where you can use teams and allow owners of records and anyone about the owners in a role hierarchy to simply share records to members of a team. Now, where can we use this teams for opening up access to records? You can use it in accounts, opportunities, and cases. And it goes by the name account teams, opportunity teams, and case teams. To use teams in the org, first administrators have to enable this feature. So enable account team, opportunity team, and case team. After enabling account teams, all they have to do is add roles for the teams. These are called team roles. And the purpose of it is to say, if I add a member to the team, what role will that person play? In an account team, what is that person's role? So everybody will be aware of their contribution while having access to that record. Now let us focus on how teams work across these three objects. Starting with account object, we can enable account teams. And after admin enables account teams and sets up the team roles, users can add the members to the team. Now, why would I use account team? When you want more than one user to work on an account record and its related records, such as contacts, opportunities, and cases, you can use teams to simply say, look, I'm the owner, but I want you to work here with me on this particular account as a dedicated support trip or as a dedicated sales engineer, I want us to work together. For that reason, I'm giving you access to this account and only this account. Along with that, I'm giving you access to its contacts and opportunities and cases so we can all collaborate and be successful in managing that account. Let's go to an account record and see how to manage the members of the team. Right now, I'm in the Salesforce org where I opened an account record called Ashley's Sports Extravaganza. The owner of this account is David. Now, David can add members, which are other users, to this account so that they had access to this account. This is opening up access to this record. So you have to go to the related list. And if you scroll down, you will notice account team. Now, account team is a related list where I can add a default team of this user, David. So David can maintain a default team members, and he can simply add that to this account record or add members as and when needed. In this case, I'm going to add team members manually. So I click Add Team Members and choose the user, a predefined team role, which is set by the administrator, that is meaningful enough to tell what role that individual plays as part of this team and what level of access they would have on an account, its related contacts, opportunities, and cases. Let's say I want a dedicated rep, Jane Senior. And Jane Senior is going to be dedicated rep for this account, Ashley's Extravaganza. So team role, I'm going to select, which is already set up as dedicated support agent. And giving the read access to account, read access to contact, read and write for cases, and read for opportunity. This way, Jane has access to account and its related information with write access to case of those accounts. Then I want Roman who's going to be the sales engineer for this account. So any problem with this account and I need an engineer to help, this is the person that I want to turn to and giving access to account, read-only, contact, read-only, cases, read-only, and maybe for opportunity, I'm giving read and write, sometimes allowing him to make changes to the opportunity. This way, once I've added members to the team, you would see them as team members of this particular account. Now you can guess that Jane, and Roman are members of this account team, which is owned by David, and they have access to this specific account only, along with its contacts, opportunities, and cases. This makes a good collaboration and teamwork for them to have access to records 
that matters to the specific account. Now, in a similar way, you also can enable opportunity teams and use them in a similar way as how you did account teams. For example, let's say for a sales opportunity, the owner needs help from additional sales engineers and also product managers to help with closing out that particular sales. Now, in order to do that, you can open up access to that specific opportunity where you need help as a team and bring members to that opportunity team and tell them what role they will play when working on this opportunity. Maybe a product manager is going to be an expert helping you with any questions that customers might have on that opportunity or an engineer for you to show demos or take them through the products and its features. So this way you can create a team, opportunity team for each opportunity and open up access. And also teams are available for case. This is in terms of customer support where when cases are created, you can take help from other members who are either support or product team members or service team members who is able to help you close the case faster and collaborate on the case that you're working with. So it's similar to account teams and opportunity teams, case teams have to be enabled. With case team, you also have another capability called predefined case team, which is defined by the administrator. You can handpick a set of users and predefine them with the case team name. And that could be like an expert on product. And you could just say which users are expert on a set of products and have a predefined team. Once you have this predefined case team, you can leverage that in automation, such as assignment rules. And also if you're using email notification as part of automation action, you can choose to notify the predefined case team, case teams, not just the owner. And what else will enabling the teams help us with? One such thing it will help us when I report, I can find reports and report on records where I'm a member of a team. So if I go and say, I want to build a new report, and then choose to create an account report, you will see account with account teams, opportunity with opportunity teams. Now, let me go back to account and say, I wanted to create an account report. Usually in the filters without teams, you will have my accounts and all accounts. But once you enable teams, you'll also be able to filter out my account teams accounts. So the primary capability of a team is to open up access to records such as accounts, opportunities, and cases when the organization by default restrict access to those records. This may not be relevant when your organization by default is completely public, such as public read only on cases, you don't need case teams here. Now, once you enable teams and set up roles for those teams, users can leverage that to add members of the team to collaborate on records and facilitate teamwork to successfully work on accounts, opportunities, and cases.